So we're here at a commercial site, as you can see, and we're doing some rectification work off the back of a, an ERCR done by somebody else. Basically, what we've found as well is there's a caravan site here or mobile home site, and the PME has been exported to all of the units. But off of the one of the main distribution boards here, we have a labeled circuit called C1 and C2. Very confusing when you're doing rectification work off the back of an EICR because obviously they're classification codes for how we code different items that are found. But we worked out it actually meant Caravan 1 and Caravan 2. So this has been pulled in a lot more recently. And what they've done, they've basically taken off an RCBO in this main distribution board here and they've taken it to two caravans and there's no, they've exported the PME, there's no earth stake, etc. Or, or different means of earth. And obviously it could be an issue if we have a loss of the pen conductor within the installation supply then it could mean actually the chassis of these caravans would potentially become live so what we've got to look at doing is we've actually got a sever the v earth coming into it from this board so the pme isn't actually been exported to the caravans we still need to make sure that the armoring for the swa that's supplying it is connected however to protect the cable itself but what we're going to do is we're going to actually look at putting an earth disc into the installation rather than an earth stake. There's lots of pipe work and stuff running around randomly in, in the areas. So I was a bit worried in putting in an actual stake. So we're actually going to install an earth disc. So now we're just returning the soil to cover the earth disc that you've seen us place in earlier. In regards to the depth of the installation, there's not actually a recommendation in terms of how deep it needs to go. So what we'll do is we'll insert not all of the soil back but we'll insert a majority of it and then we're going to test this at this point now just to make sure we have a good enough reading and just to note the tape is already there on arrival along with these lockouts it looks as if they've decommissioned all of the showers in in one of the the living quarters as such or sleeping areas and they've they've changed them for showers that are straight off of a boiler system so i'm not sure why they've left the tape they've been switched off we have checked and they are all in junction boxes so really we're gonna potentially just disconnect them from the the breakers themselves to tidy that up so now we've buried our earth disc we're now going to test it so we've got a crocodile clip on here and then we're going to go onto our line conductor for our supply it will show us the voltage on the tester and what we can see now is it's going to give us a reading which is, as I said, here, 43.3 ohms. Now, when we first tested it from the depth we originally um, buried it at, we was actually getting around 60 ohms. So we buried it almost, I would say, double the depth again. Um, we've got 43.3. Again, it's maybe a little bit high. It's quite a dryish sort of day. Um, it has been for the last couple of days, so that's going to have an effect on it. But we do have 30 milliamp protection here via an RCD, and therefore the maximum reading we're allowed to have is 1667 ohms for the final circuits within the properties to ensure that the RCD is now going to be offering fault protection. 